Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. Greg here again with another 10 vintage vehicles available for sale across North America for under $15,000. Why $15,000? I want to showcase running vehicles that the average person like myself can afford and enjoy. Some may need minor work such as brakes or a carb tune-up to be roadworthy, but these vehicles are pretty much ready to go. There may be blemishes, but you know what? That's okay. It's all about getting behind the wheel and going for a cruise in a car you love, not impressing the purists at the car show. Links for each of these vehicles are included in the video description below. Alright, enough jabbering. Let's get on with today's vehicles for sale. All right, up first we have a 1966 Ford Mustang, listed for $13,500 US in Salem, Indiana. It's been driven 32,590 miles, has an automatic transmission, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, very nice original car, runs great, new tires, nice driver with no issues, no trades. All right, here I have what I think is a pretty sweet looking 1962 Ford Ranchero, listed for $11,950 US in Coal City, West Virginia. It's been driven 60,000 miles, has a manual transmission, and is listed in very good condition. From the seller's description, restored 62 Ranchero. It's a beauty inside, outside, and underneath. No need to bring a trailer, just jump in it and drive it home. Has new brakes, master cylinder, tires, aluminum radiator, battery, electric fuel pump, floor pans, headliner, carpet, door panels, kicker panels, sun visors, shocks, Taurus leather seats, 62 Comet front clip, spring bushings, windshield, one wire alternator, Bluetooth radio, rollback topper from F-150, and LED rear lights. Will entertain cash offers. And here we have a 1978 Chevrolet Corvette, listed for $14,400 US in Woodruff, South Carolina. It's been driven 115,100 miles, has an automatic transmission, listed in very good condition, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, 1978 25th Anniversary Edition, black with black leather interior, automatic, power windows, power door locks, heat. AC works but needs charged, T-tops, tilt steering, runs and shifts very well. The car gets a lot of looks. Perfect, no, but an excellent starter collector car that you can drive around and enjoy. $14,400 or best offer. And up next, we have a 1976 Chevrolet El Camino SS. 
listed for $12,500 in Van Buren, Arizona. It's been driven 175,000 miles, has an automatic transmission, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, big block 396, fresh rebuild on the transmission, new brakes on the front, 12 bolt rear end, 18 inch glass backs, new wheels and tires, has heat and air not hooked up, radio works, lots of new parts and trim. And we're up to number 5, 1951 Mercury Monterey, listed for $15,000 US in Euless, Texas. It has an automatic transmission and is listed in good condition. From the seller's description, 1951 Mercury Lead Sled Custom, custom paint with flip-flop flames, was a 90s California custom build, has normal rust, but find one of these running and driving for this price is not going to be easy. AC, stereo, new tires. Runs great, ready to drive. Door poppers need attention. And here we have a 1968 Ford Fairlane Fastback that needs a little bit of work to be a daily driver. It's listed for $12,000 US in Indianapolis, Indiana. It has an automatic transmission, has a clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, 1968 Ford Fairlane Fastback Project runs and drives but needs work to be daily driver. Clean title, 302 V8 auto transmission, nice car. Here we have a 1980 Chevrolet Camaro, listed for $8,000 US in Stokesdale, North Carolina. It has an automatic transmission and from the seller's description, 1980 Camaro 383 with auto trans, runs good, needs exhaust finished, right now it's just long tube headers, clean title, many new parts. Up next, a 1964 Dodge Dart, listed for $7,500 US in Quincy, Florida. It has an automatic transmission and from the seller's description, nice and running car, 5,000 miles, clean title, new carburetor, new tires, new gas tank, not rusted. So we're going to head north of the border for a moment here, 1978 Fiat 124 Spider, listed for $9,500 Canadian in Mississauga, Ontario. It's been driven 24,000 kilometers and has a manual transmission. Seller's description, amazing car, mint condition, no rust at all, many extra new parts. 1978 Fiat Spider, Italian vintage, ready for summer.
All right, last but certainly not least, 1954 Willis Jeep CJ3B, listed for $9,750 US in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. It's been driven 53,000 miles, has a manual transmission, listed in excellent condition, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, this is a 1954 CJ3B, the first of the Jeep Willis to run an overhead valve engine. It has just completed a year-long frame-off restoration. This includes new brake system, all hard and soft lines, master cylinder, wheel cylinders, shoes, exhaust system complete, seals and transmission, transfer case, both differentials, all axles, gear reduction starter, 3,500 pound winch, carburetor, leaf springs and shocks, fluids all around, bits and pieces too numerous to mention. Frame was cleaned up and refinished with rust bullet, top coated with truck bed coating. Body was treated with primer filler and finished in matte single stage acrylic urethane. The speedometer is original and the odometer shows 53,000 miles. The previous owner insists that this is accurate. I did nothing to the engine aside from a new carb and starter and fresh oil. It starts easily, idles and powers up smoothly. Shifting is smooth, brakes are solid, low range and four wheel drive are functional. Now for the bad, after driving, the rear transfer case seal will leak a drop or two. All right, so that's it for today's vehicles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you'll be notified when future videos go live. This series of videos go live on YouTube every Sunday and Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also post videos for project cars that I call Friday Fix Em Up, which go live every Friday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to support the channel, please consider a channel membership. You can click the join button below or the link in the channel description and you'll have access to extra perks, including early access to each and every video before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.